Pardon the echo, but look at this. This is certainly one thing I can check off last year's mood board. <laughs> oh my god! So the truth is I've been living here for about two weeks now so that's why like the TV's on the wall and things have come together but a uh, pardon the echo pardon the echo I am having my sofa delivered soon I am so excited <laughs> this happened so obviously I know that I'm four months late to this <laughs> But I am going to do my 2024 mood board. The reason why I've been waiting to do this is because I've been waiting for this to happen. And it happened two weeks ago and so many things have been going on. I mean, you can just see the outline of my bed right there. Mostly everything's in, but I don't want to show you guys too much without, you know, finer detailing and getting in all the little bit of accessories and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and do this and I am very excited. And then we'll take a little bit of a look back on what I achieved in 2023. So basically, if you've never heard or never even seen a video like this before when it comes to creating a mood board, then what you want to start with is just a blank sheet. This is just a piece of cardboard that I got from Hobbycraft and then photos or even just words in general. So a lot of what you would put on a mood board are affirmations and the dictionary term of affirmations is the action or process of affirming something so that doesn't have to be like a set list of rules like I will clean my room every day or I will make the bed every day it can be that if you want it to be that but for me I already do those things so mine is going to be slightly more what you've probably seen on Pinterest or if you've seen other videos like this before so let's get right into it but we're going to start in the center so for me, this year, my central picture, my central quote, if you will, is going to be, good things are coming. Because they are, and they have already for me, so that's already coming true, and I want the rest of 2024, 2024 to centre around this. Because at the end of the day, I know good things are coming for me. I'm 23 this year, I know that if I work hard, then good things are coming for me. Now we'll go through last year's mood board as well, but I put something, I think I put this exact photo on my mood board last year, but I wanted to do it again this year because I genuinely want to hit that number. And I know that to hit that number, I have to do, I have to record, I have to post, I have to interact, I have to do what I, what I need to do to get that number. And then with mood boards as well, you can use like actual photos. So this is a photo from October of last year. I dance. I know that I've probably mentioned this in several videos before, but I did a show with these people last year. It was my first time doing a show with them and it was absolutely brilliant. I loved every second of it and I just want to carry on doing it. I want to do other classes. I want to do ballet, tap, all of that. So you don't have to add things onto the mood board that are just like pictures of stuff you want to do. It can be like actual pictures of things that have happened and you just want to carry on doing them. See it, believe it, and then work hard and it might just come true. And that's the only sneak peek you're getting. Some of the pictures for me, I've made as simple as I possibly can. I want to read more. I've just finished a book that took me forever to finish and I'm finally on It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. So, and I'm about 11 chapters into that. So I am determined to definitely read Fourth Wing this year and Akatar because I keep hearing so many good reviews about that. And then I've planned for my birthday this year to go to Harry Potter World. I want to go to Harry Potter World. I want to buy a cloak or a wand. I just want to see it. I've never been and I am desperate to go. Like even this photo right here, again, another photo of an example of what I want to do by the end of this year. I want to be able to complete an aerial freehand on my own without any assistance. And I am going to gymnastics class to get this done. And I want to do more for you guys. I want to produce more. I want to see where this channel can actually go and see what I can truly make of it this year. Instead of just posting because, oh, I had an idea. Posting and actually giving it proper context and giving you guys the actual creation that runs through this messed up brain of mine and then all the home stuff that's going to happen this year 
all the changes that are going to be made and I cannot wait to show you guys the finished product of what my flat is going to look like. I'm going to carry on doing my skincare. I'm okay at it but I know that there's a lot of progress that can be made there with me and my skin trying out new products, giving things like a proper run through before just going oh, okay this doesn't work for me. Personally what I like to do with my mood boards is the main things I want to happen this year I put around the central quote. So this number I'm hitting this year on Instagram on my own personal page. I'm doing it whether it kills me or if it doesn't. This is happening for me and I know it because good things are coming. Another major thing for me that I've always wanted is I've wanted to go live on TikTok for so so long now and it hasn't happened because you need to have over a thousand people on your following account to be able to go live and so once that number happens I can do this meaning these things are connected and then I have two dance pictures here just to kind of still represent the fact that I want to do more dance because dance is a very big part of my life for me it has been since the age of 12 and I just want to carry on doing it and making myself even better at it and then this is your mood board guys you can do what you want with it you can do it at any point in the year some of them are materialistic so I've got one here I know that's a Van Cleef bracelet and a Cartier bracelet and a tennis bracelet I don't want those things particularly but I want something similar I want to be able to have a bracelet stack I put a very similar picture on my mood board last year but I didn't do it and now I really want to because I want to be materialistic in that way I want to have proper bracelets that I wear every single day like I do rings now I do have two different TikToks one of the more is the more of the like cleaning ASMR restock kind of TikTok but I want to expand that as well I want to reach 700 this year I believe I'm on 400 so I'm not too far off this number I'm closer to this number than I am this number but I still want to do it. I want to grow both of my accounts. I didn't film most of 2023, so I've not got video footage, but let's have a quick look back on what was achieved in 2023. Your future needs you, your past doesn't. And I did live by that throughout 2023 because genuinely no one, nothing from my past stopped me from doing what I wanted with my life what I did with my life I will definitely say that most of 2023 had some big highs and lows but let's start on this corner so I didn't get a new tattoo last year but we spoke about it me and my best friend quite a lot I didn't get into buying a new bracelet or anything like that I did continue to practice my makeup skills I'm not able to quite do a makeup look like that yet but I'm getting there and then the biggest thing I ticked off was having my own home that was the most biggest accomplishment I've had to date moving on obviously I didn't hit 2000 on Instagram but we're not far off I'm less than 200 away from doing it and I didn't stick with my plan on posting so I didn't reach a hundred a hundred or even a thousand followers you can see that I actually crossed off on the zero moving on swiftly to these two so this one was about skincare this one was about buying a new car I do apologize for the lighting I only have one window in here so the lighting's a bit off and it's a bit dark but you know it is what it is I did get a new car it's not this, it's not, it doesn't quite look like this, but I did get a new car and that was the goal. I wanted a new car and I did it. I did it in the later end of 2023, I believe. I did travel in 2023. I only went to one place in 2023. I went to Sweden with my partner and it was the best week of my life last year. I adored every second of it, seeing a new country, being involved in a different culture. And the fact that I also learned part of their language, so I was able to communicate with them somewhat. I loved it. This one was to do with swearing and I think I stuck to it mainly. I don't think I swore too much last year, at least from what I can recall. I've asked other people and they don't remember me swearing too much. I did not get a dog, otherwise you would probably hear the dog, but you know, it's just, it, it's not the right time for me right now, which is why I've not put it on my 2024 mood board. I did kind of, and I mean kind of create this. I did this kind of look on my friend Amy, whose hair I'm actually redoing soon. She wanted a white piece like this throughout her hair, but she wanted it on both sides. So this was kind of the inspo photo, but we still did it. And this is another photo similar to the one over there of the house of the doors being open. 
I actually got my dream vanity. I cannot believe I actually spent, I went to Ikea and I spent the money. The fact I did that is absolutely baffling to me. I think 2023 overall was quite a good year. So it's like I said last year, I will continue to do these for years to come. I'll eventually, I want to eventually have children, so I will definitely get my children involved in doing this, just because it's such a great way to either bond with your friends or look at your life and see what you actually want out of it. It's such an amazing way of just expressing how you want to feel, and not only about yourself, but maybe about other people and people who have or haven't yet entered your life. It's been a great four months so far, as you can tell. I've never been happier and welcome to my new chapter. Now for the ceremonial swap of the two. Right, so it's the next day, as you can tell, probably from A, what I'm wearing and B, the fact that I have no makeup on. But we are now going to do the ceremonial change of the mood boards. I have no idea where to put it though. On this wall here, on my wardrobe. Right, I've decided I'm not putting it in my bedroom anymore. I'm putting it in my dressing room. Oh, she looks perfect. Yes. So that concludes the video. She's up on the wall. She's here. She is the moment. This is going to be my 2024. See you on the next one, guys.